Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. For this tutorial we'll be running through the biomass section. Before you start the section you should complete three sections in the building calculations area. When you go back through to the biomass section you'll see that there's two options, design calculations and compliance certificate. Firstly you'll need to start with the design calculations. first section of the biomass is relating to the surveyor details, so surveyor name and survey date, and then also asks you for the existing heating system. So you have a drop down of options and an NA if it's a new build and therefore doesn't have a current heating system. Then goes through on to more details about the system itself. You have an option to select the MCS standard that you're complying to and the issue number. So again, you've got a drop down to select the issue that you're complying with. Then goes on to ask if the property has a valid EPC. If you select no, the following options will disappear. But if you select yes, you'll be asked to input the information from the EPC. It's important to know that if you are looking to claim the RHI following the installation, then an EPC would be required, as that's what the payments are based on. So the customer should be notified of this requirement through this process. Once you've completed the details about the EPC, you can then move on to the space heating and hot water heating information. Again, you've got an option to select calculated or manual in the drop down. If you select manual, you can manually input the information. But if you select the calculated one, it'll pull through the information from the building calculations area that you would have completed earlier. Same goes for the hot water heating section. You can select the manual and input the information manually or select the calculated and it'll pull the information through for you. also have an option to add an auxiliary heat source. If you select yes, a couple of extra options will appear for you to select the type of auxiliary heater and also add in its efficiency. Finally, on this section, you've got financial information and that asks for the cost per unit of biofuel for the biomass system. For this example, we just put 4.7 pence as that's the current rate stated on the Energy Saving Trust website for wood pellets. Um, if you do need to see the latest information on that, just check that website and for, for the other types of biofuel as well. You yeah, also have an option to add in the cost per unit of fuel for the alternative heat source. And then finally, um, if the installation is intended for RHI. As I mentioned earlier, you would need to have an EPC in place to apply for the RHI. But in this section, it's just asking you for the rate of RHI for the chosen technology. At the time of recording this webinar, current rate is 6.43 pence, um, but go to the Ofgem website to find out the up-to-date rates if needed. Once you've completed that section, just press the next button and that will save that information and move you on to the next section. As you come through to this section, it'll ask you for details about the biomass system you're installing, so the manufacturer, model and MCS product certification number. If you're not sure about the product certification number, you can use the product search button at the top to go to the MCS website and search for the certification number for that particular product. Next, you have to select the intended fuel type. You've got a drop down of the three different types of biofuel. Um, so we've selected the pellets for this example. And then goes through onto the efficiency of the system. So you'll be able to find this information from the product characteristics database and then the manufacturer's data sheet as well. Once you've inputted them, you can then go through and as you see, some of the figures are already calculated that are in the blue fields. The gross calorific value is calculated for you, but if you wish to do it manually, you can select the manual option and it'll allow you in to input it yourself. Once you're happy with all that information, click the next button again to save it and it'll move you on to the design calculations and you'll find all the results based on the information you've previously input. Once you've checked through that, press the next button, it'll take you to the financial summary, which will give you an overview of the running costs and estimate of the RHI calculations. As we stated earlier that there is an EPC for the property, the RHI calculations have been based on those figures. If you don't have an EPC available, it will base an estimate of the RHI on your cal calculated figures, 
However, the customer should be informed that this is not the case for actual RHI calculations and any um, RHI application would require an EPC and would be based on that for the payments. Um, you can select the print button, it will give you a PDF document output, which you can then save for your project. Um, but once you're happy with all the results, if you click the back chevron, it will take you back to the biomass menu and then you can move on to the compliance certificate. In this section, a lot of the information will have been pulled through for you, um, but just double check it as you move through the sections to see that all the information is correct. For the address of the MCS installation company, you can pre-populate this information in the My Settings and My Profile area, and this will pull through to any documents that you have produced on the RSS. If you're only happy, click the next button for the information to save. As you work through the options, a lot of them have drop-down options for you to choose from. We've selected them to default to the most um, the typical answer, but if you have got any other options, just double check the answers to make sure that they are correct for you. As you go through as well, there are some that are blue, blue fields based on your calculated information. As you press the next button, just make sure you check through the information, make sure it all looks correct. And then once you get to the final page for confirmation, just input the name of the person completing the compliance certificate, job title and date. Press the save button. And then once you press print, you'll then be able to open a PDF version of the MCS compliance certificate, which you can then use to register the install on the MCS database and produce an MCS certificate for the install. Once you've finished that, you can print press the back chevron button and it'll take you back to the biomass menu. If you've got any more questions about the biomass section, please contact your consultant.